Hello traders, uh, it's me Lato Mogar. Uh, today I'm gonna break down uh, GBP out. Um, okay, let's see if we can have you know um, uh, an opportunity uh, to grab some pips um, uh, for upcoming uh, weeks. Okay, let's go through from uh, the monthly chart. Okay, if you're gonna have a look on the monthly chart, what you can see. Okay, right. Okay, this one here. So if you're gonna use the Elliott um, wave. Okay, Elliott wave. Let's talk about this. Right, okay, that's the Elliott impulse wave. Okay, it can be found on the left hand side over there. So if you're gonna start this one, okay, that market was initiated from this place there. Okay, so if you're gonna use the Elliott wave from there up to the high over there, came back down. Okay, so I went back up again, came back down, which is here. That was the last one there. And then here you can see the last impulse, very strong impulse, uh, you know, creating a last move to the upside. Okay, so basically, you know, uh, that you can see uh, five moves. Okay, so that was the strong um, impulse. Okay, that one there, and uh, that was the uh, exhaustion phase. Okay, up to number two, and from number two to three, uh, another continuation. And from number three, you can see that was the correction, okay? And from the number four to number five, here you can see that was the last move, okay? So, um, you know, uh, if you're gonna go and check on the any time frames, uh, sometimes, you know, you should be able to uh, find out the Elliott uh, moves like that, okay? So let me get rid of this and let's talk about the um, another one, okay? So here you can see very strong reversal there. Okay, here you can see. Let me let me put the um, okay trend line. Okay, let's talk about trend line. Right, if you're gonna draw a trend line, okay, from there. So maximum touches. Okay, uh, here you go. This one. Okay. So whenever you want to confirm, go on line chart. Okay, click on there. Okay, let me adjust. Okay, many touches. Okay, there. Right, slightly go down. Okay, here you go. All right, what you can see here is the market. Okay, made double bottom there. And the second one, okay, um, the trend line was respected there. Okay, third one, you can see a little bit of, you know, um, breakout. Okay, that was the uh, fake breakout breakout okay so basically what happens is like um the institutional uh, people you know they go and hunt uh you know many stop losses okay so that was uh, kind of uh, the uh, manipulation okay and then uh, you know market you know reversed from there you know up to there okay making higher high then uh, another one you can see here the uh, another touch okay and uh, that was again respected and here you can see another freak, uh, breakout and finally and uh, the market you know managed to break that trend line okay so what happens is as soon as uh, the market you know uh, able to break the trend line uh, that becomes um, counter trend line okay so uh, basically it comes there and then uh, when it goes up that is trend line okay so um, uh, you can um, trade like that however now uh, you know you can see uh, it was broken so it is counter trend line means you know as soon as you see like you know if i'm gonna draw okay if i'm gonna draw this all right what you can see here is that was the strong support that was resistant okay as soon as you know uh, the trend line breaks uh, you know that goes back to in test and uh, that becomes you know um, resistant uh, and another test okay second test was done there okay so that is again the strong resistant and then uh, from there the market was rejected okay so that was you know trending down anyway uh, let me get rid of those and go back to candle chart <clears throat> right okay here you can see um, so the market is uh, trending down okay so that was um, initially started from that um, point over there 
so here you can see because of you know those strong uh, red candles i don't think you know that are um uh, that are like you know uh, buyers uh, pushing the market up okay i don't think so uh, otherwise um it would have been uh, better uh, if the market you know uh, could have um, reversed at least you know 50 percent of the fibonacci level or the 60 uh, percent um 61 percent of the fibonacci level it would have been better but you know the buyers you know could not um uh, push uh, the market up okay hence why the market rejected from that level over there okay here you can see and then again you know uh, the buyers you know try to you know push the market up and they failed it okay because why uh, that was the strong resistance and again uh, the market found strong resistance hence why you know market melted down okay that's why i'm still thinking of um, uh, the uh, gbp out is going down okay so let me have a look these things there okay right that was the previous uh, strong support areas okay so uh, here you can see another one that is strong support okay so um, because of you know the previous uh, strong support was already broken by the second red candle okay now uh, the third candle here you can see it is being created okay so it looks like they are going to create another red candle okay that means the market uh, is still uh, you know may go down okay that's my uh, personal directional bias okay it is bearish right okay let me get rid of this and go to weekly chart right okay weekly chart what you can see okay right let me use the fibonacci tool from the top over there okay that was the highest point and then that was the lowest one and what happened here here you can see you know market you know came down okay at that time you know it was um, able to uh, break the previous uh, support and now it turns to resistance okay here you can see uh, the uh, 0 0.50 percent of the Fibonacci level was respected okay so here you can see uh, one two three four four weeks okay consecutive four weeks okay market heavily rejected okay from the 50 percent of the fibonacci level okay let me get rid of that one and then use the other one so that red candle is strong uh, red candle you can see okay uh, that was started from here okay so use the fibonacci tool from the top here okay to the lowest part which is here okay here so what you can see here okay because of in a strong uh, red candle okay so it needs to you know um, exhaust you know for uh, like uh, up to like you know minimum of 0.382 or 50 percent or sometimes it goes back to you know 61 percent or indeed you know sometimes uh, you know it may go back to 0.786 um, of the Fibonacci level but what i can see here is you know uh, so it did not touch 0.618 however so it was the 50 percent um you know of the fibonacci level was respected there okay this one there and then market you know uh, start started to you know reverse from uh, that zone okay so here you can see here uh, the previous um okay previous strong support was broken okay now what is happening i'm gonna get rid of this and use the final fibonacci tool for this week so market started from there okay up to the lowest part over there what you can see so market you know came back down okay at that time this uh, the strong support here you can see uh, okay support line was broken and then you know went back you know to grab uh, some liquidity okay basically you know, they create uh, the uh, liquidity right so uh, now you can see here is 0.50 percent okay was respected last week okay from here what i can see is market may start to okay reverse okay so it looks like the market is trending down okay right okay let me get rid of this and then let's go to daily chart right okay daily chart what you can see here okay so that was the strong um move okay towards the uh down then you know uh, that was very strong and then 
the correction was shallow shallow retracement is very good you know when uh, you want to look for like you know next continuation okay so here you can see you know four uh, consecutive days you know market um, uh, was rejected so it looks like you know it has found very strong um, resistance here so from here market will start to move back down okay that's what i can see however if you're gonna have a look that part over there okay market is trapped okay market is being trapped within the strong support and resistance so unless otherwise okay unless otherwise um okay when the market uh, you know starts then unless otherwise you see uh, a candle you know um closed below uh, the uh, strong support then i might not uh, look for anything okay so let the um red candle you know print uh, below the strong support and then when it goes back to you know test retest that level then you may look for shell okay that's what i can see right uh so let's go and have a look uh one hour chart not four hour okay right i want to talk something about this here right okay so whatever the market um uh you can see here okay that market was created from this part over there so what happened okay whenever the institutional people you know they want to push the market down okay so they want to move down right what happened so they're going to use their own money to push the market up okay so that was kind of a manipulation okay they were thinking that you know um, you know the big people are going uh, up right okay they are going for long so at that time you know they uh, they used their money to go up and then they you know started to push the market back down at that time you know whatever money they have put there uh, is still remains like drawdown okay so to cover the draw drawdown so what happens here you can see okay that red candle with the big uh, wick okay here you can see if i'm gonna draw a line there okay right okay here you go so as i have already mentioned about the imbalance okay whenever you see the imbalance um uh, in the market okay what what happens okay basically they go and you know uh, refill at least uh, of the 50 percent of their imbalance or the drawdown okay so now here you can see you know they went up you know and then they refilled their uh, imbalance and came back down okay so it looks like um uh, the market they have already you know uh finished their move so from here i can see that uh the market will start to go back down okay so here you can see uh you know some weeks there okay so probably uh on uh, sunday evening uh onwards market is still you know can go you know up yeah and then making like you know the head and shoulder and market will start to go down okay as i have already said on the uh daily chart so i might not look for anything unless otherwise i see this zone okay okay this zone there okay as soon as you know market start to move back down and as soon as you know it breaks uh, and you know closes below the um uh, the strong support and resistance line then i might look for sale okay guys um this is um, uh, this is the uh, technical analysis um so not the fundamental one so fundamental analysis you know they can um you know go anywhere else okay they may go up or down okay so um i think uh, you guys uh, you know like my um uh, the analysis okay uh, so uh, make sure you know subscribe like and share my uh, youtube channel um so uh, whenever like you know i upload new uh, videos obviously you know you will be notified and then um you will have a chance to learn something from me in due course okay so um guys you know um put in the comment section below uh, whichever pair you you want me to you know uh, break down uh, for the next uh, video uh, and obviously um you know comment anything if you don't like or anything you know just you know put, put in the comment section uh, and uh, wherever you are guys okay stay safe um, wish you good luck you know for the um, uh, upcoming uh, weeks and months um, take care of yourself see you in the next video until then peace